<laughs> what? Wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Why was that so funny? <laughs> Okay. I saw this Utopia right. fan art. <laughs> okay, so we have an intro. Okay, sorry that we've had to pause it <laughs> two seconds. So, um, you you you're gonna make an intro for your your channel. Your channel is based around movie reviews, film criticism. It only makes sense that as one of the you know collage montage videos for your intro, that you would have some. Not even, not even Zootopia, not not even the movie Zootopia, but a cheap <laughs> uh, fan. I don't know. I don't know. Is I don't know if it's a porn, a furry porn, <laughs> Zootopia, furry porn I film. Think it, it's that combined with the piano that makes you like your brain immediately goes, "Wait, what the fuck?" <laughs> He's like, and in this scene, Judy Hops eats spaghetti. <laughs> we need to analyze it. All right, we'll play it again, precious audience. Yeah, but... No. <laughs> No, we need to see. The <laughs> 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 It, oh, it is like, it, I only have enough time for like four videos. Man <laughs> running down sidewalk. Uh, Spider-Man putting on his suit, I guess. Spider-Man putting on his, uh, Judy Hopps eating with chopsticks. <laughs> uh, um, Arrow Man. Do you, think, you know what I think it was? He wanted to make a more profound video than what makes a good film, but he only had like film footage, and so he was like, if I say it's good art as well, I'm gonna have to involve some other medium. He's like, what about a bad fanfic of Judy Hopps eating spaghetti? I do enjoy certain art. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy certain art. <laughs> Has anyone ever made a more controversial statement? <laughs> yeah, just, just, put that just put that caption on a picture of Judy Hopps with chopsticks. Like, I do enjoy certain art. art. <laughs> it's like you, <laughs> let's put it like, like this. Just put I it see on. you're a man of sophisticated tastes. Just put it like this on Instagram as an inspirational quote. This ta this this picture like this with Brown Table and Watchmen 2009 on it. I mean, it's pretty play with the Also, I just realized it's off center on my stream. That's unacceptable. You make me sick. Blame. Some kind of ruling class of people. I'm gonna be non-specific now. Mm. Right, that's better. Did watch together change again? They do this to me all the fucking time. That'll have to do for now to make sure we get the whole thing. And I really dislike I Google searched other. Judy Hop's chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually seen like 3D Judy Hop porn. Oh. Where like it's so it's like it's photorealistic. So whenever like you can you see the dick penetrating her, it's like fur. <laughs> And then, and then you're like, like bald there's, pussy. There's people out there who will pay going... for this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a sad it's like dick sloshing. It's like dick sloshing inside her, like through, through photorealistic bunny cheeks. It's terrible. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Welcome to EFAP 48. <laughs> Today we'll be covering Brown I Table. I was not prepared for that conversation. Do you guys see and the. And then an abortion. The second statement I dislike some art too. Yes, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> whoa, whoa, calm down. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. Like, we did a whole debate about this. To see art for ourselves, we're meant to comprehend it. And in It's up to our own selves to determine what? whether or not the art we see before us is good or bad. <laughs> this, There's all right, art um, <laughs> this like isn't really, like, point-related, but instead of saying our own selves... Ourselves? <laughs> You could have said ourselves. <laughs> no. As if, as if, like, we own a self that is us or something. Like. My own self. Subjective. Also it's myself. <laughs> well, the whole, the whole thing about my is that it sort of implies ownership. <laughs> the word my. I like the. It's so ridiculously pretentious, though. It is up to our own selves. I own myself. Don't we? Aren't we all slaves to ourselves? <laughs> like, uh... So then, is there actually there's bad, bad text? That's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's such a thing as bad text. <laughs> I read that as rat. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what, what makes good rat? rat? <laughs> what makes good rat? <laughs> And not only that, but the T is a baseball bat. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh shit, I need to be writing this shit down, man. Fuck, what makes oh good rat? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, <laughs> what makes good rat? <laughs> god. Fuck oh, me. Let's bring it back to Zootopia. What makes a good rat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember the opening statement. Our own selves. I'm just gonna write that. Reminds me of the whole there's only one definition of words thing. That was... What makes good rat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's not letting me pause. Does it squeak? <laughs> if so, it is a good rat. I mean, there are probably qualifications for that. Can, you mind, um... can it find the cheese on the other side of the base? Is it the father of four turtles? <laughs> <laughs> the father of four turtles. <laughs> If it's up to us to determine whether some art is good or bad, in our opinion, then how do we know when art is actually Okay, so, could you not find a picture of people looking at art on a wall? Did you have to, like, create one with a transition? It looks like the dude in the white shirt is fucking the other dude. <laughs> looks like he's giving the old chopsticks. Why would you do this? <laughs> Like, just look at the wall. I can't get off. It's such a magic wall. He's Imagine trying to an art gallery. He's trying to make. Was he's trying to make this oh. deep, pretentious ass video, and he, he <laughs> photoshops <laughs> this deliberately. <laughs> well, this all the oh. art is like an inch above the ground, <laughs> so you have to lay down normally on top <laughs> of other patrons in order to stare at the art. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> uh. Don't fuck me or my son ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Art gallery was shit. I get raped by four people. Why? Why does it say divide on the divide symbol? Like this is, it seems. Well, no, it, it would be really artsy if it said multiply. <laughs> oh yeah. Like oh, that's not what that symbol means. <laughs> you must if be all smart. Art is subjective. Then why are there art schools teaching you the correct way to draw? That's the thing. Because Some people don't be want to look at garbage. Wait, what? <laughs> art can be bad. Let's see. Let's go see that guy's table. Oh, like, yeah. no one's going to pay. That's shit. That's awful. I'm, no, I don't want to say. I'm not trying to be mean. But this That's is. shit. Don't, this is, this... don't you dare say that isn't shit. Okay. Is that a cake or a leprechaun? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, in my foundation arts class, if you drew that in front of the teacher I had, he'd be like, yeah, that's shit. You need to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had that the fucking balls to ask what is wrong with it, he would fucking frown at you. <laughs> like, that, that's so bad. He would say, I think you're the first person ever to need summer school for art class. <laughs> you can be a bad dancer, but you're still dancing. <laughs> What? <laughs> you could, yeah. But Your eggs smell like assholes, but they're still eggs. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> you did it. dancing. Because, like, these eggs are rotten and they've gone bad, and I could smell them from across the room, but it is still an egg salad, technically. <laughs> sure. Nobody's saying that bad films aren't films, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> no, we take the label from you. You know, that reminded me of myself. I'm not good at all. But to say this, then we can also say this about movies. You can make a terrible movie, and while it still qualifies- What the fuck are you- well, Didn't you say earlier that you- You can make a terrible movie, and while it still qualifies as a film, it's still bad. Okay. This reminded me of Karl Marx no, and- This reminded me of Karl <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of socialism. It is a shitty economic system, but it is still an economic system. This is, this is the equivalent of the Bilbo Baggins thing. This no, reminds I, I me of Karl Marx. Like, really? This, I, as I was watching Transformers the last night or whatever, I couldn't help but be remembered, reminded of Karl Marx. What? Why? Why do they do this to me? Oh. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay, let's do it. What like, Karl like, Marx. I don't think about Karl Marx all that often. Still bad. This reminded me of Karl Marx and Frederick Angel <laughs> oh, and their views on art and philosophy. And if that's not the right way to pronounce Angel... Who are you apologizing to? He's dead. 
it's it's uh, loving uh, family rags oh dear i'm so sorry all of my viewers sorry for them art is defined as a manifestation of the social consciousness art changes as time wow progresses. what a, what an insane <laughs> wow it's, what the fuck is that going to do with what he's Marxist talking about <laughs> marxist.org <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> so he got that picture. <laughs> wait, why didn't it blur out I the same? The quote oh, is know. from Marxists.org. <laughs> okay. Content and forms of art were not established firmly once and for all, but they inevitably developed and changed according to definite laws along the development of the material world and human society. That's why we have different eras of art, with an era never again repeating itself. Love how he jumped to that from saying Transformers is bad, but it's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To know, tell us more about fucking Karl Marx. <laughs> What's his take on rats? He was right about everything. Nation <laughs> meant to be a commentary or a piece meant to reflect it. Older art cannot exist in today's era because it would just not make any sense. Due to different political and economical climates, art cannot be replicated into another era. Bullshit. What do you mean? This statement doesn't doesn't seem accurate. But it was from Marxist.org, so... <laughs> oh, so it's fucking guaranteed to be wrong. I don't even know who said this. Like, was it, was it Brown Table? Was it, it was a Marxists. Rat? It was Mr. Marxists. I mean, you can't have Victorian dresses in the year 2017. So like this, I believe um, we hold certain films at a certain prestige when compared to others, especially when they talk about more. something of I'm, the time. I'm so confused. Like, he talks about something, and then something pops up on screen. I try yeah. to read my content. We've Stop talked about it. this before, but um, if this is super relevant to your argument, read it out. Exactly. <laughs> you just read it out. <laughs> Why? Because it seems like he created this way on purpose. Like, I guess we're supposed to pause and read this? Uh, perhaps some movies are held at a higher standard than others due to relevant commentary. Is this, is this for people with cataracts? <laughs> who can't... <laughs> <laughs> are there, like, deaf people who can't fucking hear him? Talk about something of the times. Whether it be Zootopia or Spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be brought in, okay. Stop! <laughs> Films like these have won awards, not only, you know, due to their execution, but also the commentary on the world. And methods and techniques movies use, like the long take that Birdman uses or Baby Driver uses at the beginning of the film, are deemed great. Be but, but it's not as... There's usually more to it than just going, this is great. No, it's a yeah. long take, it's great. Like a long take of a chair in a room. Not gonna be that impressive. <laughs> it's like, whoa, the chair didn't even oh, man, move. That chair can keep a straight face. <laughs> because as a society, we've come to understand that this is good filmmaking. Why did you do that with the text? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because uh, it's artsy. Oh, man. Creating an emotional, active character and not a passive one, for example, is good writing. What? what? Creating so, an emotionally I active character versus a passive one is good writing. Okay. Said who? Yeah, he what if really the loves around? his video editor guys. <laughs> what if, really what if the world he was He loves different. editing, it's his passion. <laughs> we get it! Motherfucker, stop! Did y'all see how that, how that appeared after the door moved? Fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I wanted to see what the quote was. What was it? This quick cutting, wonder. dizzying. Oh, did you say what was the other way around? Okay. Yeah, what yeah, if it was the was other the way around? around? We'd be living in a different world, wouldn't we? Yes. That's the thing. Art you, is a you just said what? Well, yes, we would be living in a different. <laughs> that was What's the point. I, I like. Yeah, it's like, what if we were living in a different world? Explains thing. You see, we'd be living in a different world. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but but we're living in this one, so let's talk about this one. <laughs> Times, and we've been taught that this is good filmmaking, but if we were living in an alternate world, that said, <laughs> he flipped it upside down. <laughs> he, must, he was so he was he's close to his mic. He's talking softly. He thinks he's the smartest dude in the fucking universe right now. It's what and you we're do just though. Like, dude, like as this is the most empty vapid shit. As a video essayist, this is what's encouraged on YouTube. Is it always subjective? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't, like, you know what I mean? Like I get this sense. Like oh, are you are you okay? Like oh no, you sound, you sound injured. Is it subjective? <laughs> do you need help? Do, do we need to call somebody? Are you trapped in your home? Is this your... Is <laughs> someone you forcing you to make the these terrible videos? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below.
fucking say what was the point of this video? What was the point? Okay. What was the whole fucking point of this video? What did you say in this video? That well, I can't even like best faith interpretation. He was like, it's all subjective, except it isn't, because we base it on our current climate slash environment slash society. And we also can't replicate anything from other eras, which means it's all privatized to those eras, like, I, I don't know. And that, should they have those rules within those eras, I guess? Why not go into some of those things instead of just being like, oh, it's subjective, baby, what do you guys think? I don't know, I guess it's just whatever you think it is. I don't know, I don't know Karl Marx, <laughs> he said some stuff at some point, I don't know. Yeah, I went to Marxists.com for this video essay. I want a special shout out to Marxists.com. Uh, for only $5 a month, you can get your special Marx box. So that every day, you can, get you can get your special communist propaganda delivered straight to your door. Mel, say a German word for the audience. Your face looks like a, a rotten strudel. There you go, nice. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the next video... As as is the title. We're we're on point today. Everything's getting done the way it should be. Apparently, I guess it's because of the fact we just covered a four minute video, which is one of the shortest I think we've ever covered on EFAB. So not bad. The nice. Star Wars original trilogy sucks. You guys know that? Why not just uh, say the original oh, Star Wars trilogy sucks? Because. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> looks like we're going to be downgrading in general from brown tables. Like, this is the other end of the spectrum where there is no pretentiousness. It's just sort of... Why, the, uh... is, there a, um, why is there a speaker symbol <laughs> on Darth Vader's head? Yeah, uh, I the same thing. That, see, so everyone thought his voice came out of his little mouthpiece thing, but it actually comes out of the top of his head. Oh! <laughs> oh. That, it, it gives the illusion that he's taller. And, uh, yeah, the awkward thing was that he used to have that plastered on for helpful, you know, so people knew where to listen. But everyone kept laughing at him, so they took it off him. Um, and this was this was pre A New Hope, you know. This was like this was like just post Return mm -hmm. Revenge of the Revenge of the Sith. Well, we think it's a speaker. It could be like a shower head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, 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 yeah. It, if he doesn't like you, he just squirts Would water. You like a you. shower. <laughs> well, like, horizontal. Yes, we will him? clean up the empire. <laughs> it's, it literally sprays to his left. You're like, why? <laughs> Whenever there was a meeting, the person sitting to his left would always be like, "Oh fuck, I know it's like happen. I can't you'll, control you'll, it." And like, well, why do you have it? it? <laughs> I'm caught in my shower head. disturbing. I got it at Space Home Depot. It was a steal. I thought it was just like a pretentious snapback from the Yeezy collection. Like this, this is just I don't a, think we can rule anything out. Logo. It might just be a light. Yep. A lot of potential here. You know, I didn't design... Also, also, it could be very loud soup. <laughs> loud soup? <laughs> i never seen a soup. i never seen soup ser served in a funnel. Also, That's Jesus like Christ, a... the, um, the fucking... Imagine that as a soup bowl. That's so easy to tip <laughs> over. <laughs> Like, why is it like this? And they're like, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a space, space one. Soup. <laughs> space yeah, it's, it's space soup, and it's very loud. <laughs> what oh, makes rat good? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It actually, it actually reminds me of that scene from uh, Demolition Man. With Sylvester Stallone eating that rat burger. <laughs> what makes rat good? <laughs> Such a strange question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like first of all we need to we need to talk about the premise of the question. Like, okay, this is the one I think I was at it with. Twitter guys, put it on Twitter, even though you probably already have what I'm getting there. What I don't <laughs> good what makes, what makes good rats. <laughs> That's great. Oh, is that Judy Hot oh wait. No. <laughs> I got 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 pretty excited there for a second, huh? That rat is yeah, mad. I thought, there, I thought he said some, oh, yeah. had some chopsticks. <laughs> that is an adult female rat. And this is the thing. She's a good rat, so you got to figure out what makes her a good rat. She's a good rat. <laughs> I love that the idea, by the way, that they copied that from his video. They didn't even have to, like, make it up. She's <laughs> 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 a good rat. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, she's, a, she's a good rat. <laughs> Instead of the most earnest possible way. <laughs> The best it's a rat good, I ever... It's a good-ass rat right there. <laughs> In the most non-insulting way possible, oh, it's a good rat. 
Best rat I ever had. That other meme says, uh, what makes good rat? A lesson and explanation of art theories. <laughs> I you, just Table. rename Ratatouille what makes good rat. The fact remains that the Star Wars original trilogy sucks and is in fact inferior to the prequels. Don't. <laughs> this guy... Okay. His, ac his oh. accent is making me laugh. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm flawed. I'm flawed at the premise. That's all. During I feel like if I feel like I know what this person looks like based on their voice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an ist of some kind. Where the, um, where's those gas station sunglasses? <laughs> the backwards cap. <laughs> like like he works at a gas group. station, and this what, is what, what he discusses with people coming in <laughs> to buy stuff. All right, did you know that the original Star Wars trilogy sucks? <laughs> Y'all seen the prequels? Did you ever, you ever stick your dick in soup? No. I've not done that myself. You ever stuck your dick in someone else's soup and not told them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting Maybe. to think that you have. Is, is this like there a literal a PowerPoint presentation he's <laughs> clicking through? <laughs> <laughs> he's standing like, in yet? front of an empty auditorium. Oh my god, that's why, that's why the volume... <laughs> the, the, the volume that's thing why is the volume there. thing is. <laughs> Vader, Vader <laughs> threw the soup at Luke. <laughs> He uses his force powers <laughs> to project the loud soup on the <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Looks like, oh, it's so loud! <laughs> <laughs> Falls off the thing. I just, like, it's just, just playing imagine. music. <laughs> it's like the like, no, turn it off! No, use I will not force. turn it off, Luke. It's used to force you get like a loudspeaker, it's like, <laughs> and just falls down. <laughs> What's wrong, Luke? You look a little hungry! <laughs> you like some loud soup? It is my duty as your father to feed you. I. Why don't you pick up the spoon? Oh yeah, that's right. You don't have a hand. <laughs> Dad, Dad, you're such a dick. How very unfortunate. We got number one plot continuity. Darth Vader's status. It took twenty years to half build the Death Star. Empire's hierarchy in constant flux. Luke and Leia kiss it. Kissed. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, he sounds like a person who wouldn't have any problem with kissing your sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's I shouldn't cool. say that. I shouldn't say that, but I can because I, I was about to say you're Arkansas. allowed to say that. I am allowed to say that. <laughs> um, all right. I guess let's let's hear him out. Plots that make sense and carry over from movie to movie if they're part of a trilogy. Hmm? Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings does just that. Things that happen in one movie continue into the other. Mm -hmm. The Star Wars original trilogy has nothing of that sort. Someone's just alerted me to the fact that this man has a video called Tywin Lannister Homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I want to see that and next. Yes, so much! <laughs> and, it, and, oh. it is, and it is spelled phonetically. Homosexual. <laughs> homosexual. <laughs> homosexual. Tywin Lannister is a homosexual. <laughs> I like the idea that he just says Tywin Lannister, full stop, homosexual. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and Tywin would be like, yes, and? To being some sort of Sith Lord, to being Luke's pussy ass emotional dad. <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> I've, nev I've never heard Vader described as such. All right. Pussy That's ass well emotional dad. <laughs> okay. Literally right. fucking kills his boss by throwing his corpse well, well body down a fucking hole and electrocuting himself to death. Pussy ass. Listen, <laughs> oh, if. Pussy. If you told me to describe Darth Vader in one word, <laughs> emotional. Pussy ass. That's the one. <laughs> That's one word because it's hyphenated. <laughs> yeah. Pussy hyphen ass. Okay. Interesting. Chopsticks. Take. Being some sort of Sith Lord, to being Luke's pussy ass emotional dad, <laughs> and there's not really a lot of continuity in his character. What do you mean? You haven't highlighted a single break in continuity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of it, like fucking rags. One day he's a YouTuber, the next day he's a podcaster. Make up your fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, with no continuity at all. <laughs> you push the ass, also pupper. What? One <laughs> podcast he has this icon, and then the next he has his other icon. Makes no fucking sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Not only is the Death Star half built, it looks like a pushed in titty nipple. What the fuck? <laughs> also, My good. sister's titty nipple don't look nothing like that. <laughs> This shit unrealistic. I mean, you ain't just gonna draw one boob. 
You're gonna do two <laughs> boobs. Also, I just boobs yeah, if we if we add in Rogue One, that's when it's first tested. But also, it would make sense the the guy, what well, the protagonist girl's da dad, he would have delayed it as much as possible, wouldn't he? Because he was a good man. And then Luke and Leia, of course, made out in the first movie. But later, <laughs> we learned that they're supposed to be brother and sister. Great planning there, guys. What? Great. That's not <laughs> plot continuity. That's, that's, not not, that's not breaking continuity. They didn't know this. Uh, yeah, they didn't know. It's not that, that. How? Why would anyone assume that some. Re you're Luke, <laughs> right? Let's say you're Luke. You were raised as a fucking water farmer on some backwater desert planet, and then you rescue the princess of a faraway world. And why would you assume that you are related to I her? I don't want to kiss you. You might be what? my sister. <laughs> you might be my sister. Yeah. That's not... Oh. I like the idea that he said that. He's like, wait, you can't be brother and sister. You kissed. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> Let me sit you down, Johnny. <laughs> One of those points I'm seeing on my screen right now. Oh, it's not. Oh shit! We moved on to the next thing. Hang on. If if your father Force wanted to disown you, he has to make out with you. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> What I, I love these points. I love these points. Mark Hamill looks Mark like a lesbian. Like a lesbian. <laughs> raging alcoholic. No response. <laughs> Carrie Fisher, <laughs> raging alcoholic. Raging alcoholic. Not leading Luke is weird boy who likes I would have mentioned the cocaine before the booze. <laughs> but he looks, looks like a lesbian. <laughs> Luke, Luke, farm boy who likes gadgets, so basically Fred from Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably a homosexual who likes the gay gadgets. That's why he wanted to team up with Daphne because he was a homo. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are these points? <laughs> this is so this, bullshit. This, this proves that the prequels are bad. <laughs> <laughs> this Yo, can't be a, the OT suck. Mark Hamill no gay. gay in the prequels. This must be a baby. Come on. He gave the just a baby <laughs> lesbian. Oh, Jesus. That's amazing. Um, you spell Hamill wrong as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, he said, also, he has the icon, not leading actress hot, is supposed to be very loud when you read it. Oh, yeah. oh, right. No, Rags, just the N and the O and the T itself. Just not. Not to leading actress. And part actress of Fisher hot. as well. <laughs> <laughs> so. Before he speaks, yeah, we've got Mark Hamill looks like a lesbian, he's not athletic, and he has no charisma. Apparently, if you say those things, that's just, that makes it true. Um, Carrie Fisher can't act, she's a raging alcoholic, and she's not leading actress hot. So there are degrees of hot, she didn't make it up to that tier, unfortunately. Damn, what a shame. Um, and then back to Luke, he's a farm boy who likes gadgets, so he's basically <laughs> Fred from Scooby-Doo. I've not ever heard that criticism of Luke. <laughs> So <laughs> that's a new one for me. And then Leia obsessed with faux bad boys, princess of a dead planet. Why is that <laughs> What? Why? <laughs> okay. uh, no force powers, okay? I guess he must like The Last Jedi then. Luke, of course, is played by Mark Hamill. He's a guy who looks like a middle aged lesbian. He has no athleticism, he has no charisma. And why middle, why, middle aged why, lesbian? I don't know. I, I'd say he's younger than middle aged. <laughs> why, why is that? He doesn't point? look like a lesbian. Um, oh, not Jesus. athletic. I don't know. He doesn't seem. He seems fairly athletic. I mean, yeah. Uh, he's not like ripped. He's you know he's in good shape. I guess he's um, bouncing around in every movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, no charisma. I don't agree with that. <laughs> minute. Um, and as for Carrie Fisher, she can't really act. She's a raging alcoholic, and she's just not leading actors hot. I'm not. I, wow, he just read that out one for one. <laughs> Didn't even. Okay, <laughs> okay. For one thing, Carrie Fisher is a raging coke addict. Get it right. Yeah, bitch. yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's <number one. laughs> Fucked up to misrepresent like that. Yeah. Coke addicts rise. <laughs> <laughs> Right. They have their own. They have their own Dove campaign. It's just like crack rock. <laughs> they have like a flag to to run. It's like, it's like a nose with no bridge. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>
I'm not saying she's unattractive. I'm just saying that she's not leading actress That's hot. such a fucking neckbeard comment. She's not hot enough for me. <laughs> <You're> like, okay. <laughs> I, I think that if you're going to cast somebody in this position, she needs to be as hot as, as what I would like. Important to me. I think you know you can figure out what I mean by that. She's like the friend of the hot actress. She's not really the hot <laughs> actress. <laughs> A dude, bro, piece of shit. <laughs> oh, you, you. oh my god! I'd love him to say that to her in person, like you know what she oh, would have said to that's him. That's hard. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe it's more applicable now because <laughs> he'd fuck you go to up. her grave and dig her up. Like you're not, you're not leading actress hot. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> you're like the hot that's the best friend hot. You know what I'm saying? Makes complete sense. You ain't as hot as my sister. As for the characters themselves, Luke, he's basically a farm boy who likes gadgets, so he's not really that different than Fred from Scooby-Doo. Well, how's so that what bad? What the fuck is wrong with Fred what? from Scooby-Doo, motherfucker? But Fred yeah. didn't look like a lesbian, was athletic, and, I don't know, I guess he don't care. Okay, Fred from Scooby-Doo is a fucking saint. When did Fred like gadgets? <laughs> I was actually going to say, that's <laughs> the mystery mobile. Was that his thing? Uh, I don't remember. What was, what was Fred's thing? Was he, did he have a thing? I think he was yeah, just athletic scarf. and big. Was he, I, was he, I, don't, I just picture him now on like a series of computers with like a like a thing. I'm just like, <laughs> we can't go into that mansion. It's emitting an alpha signal. Nope. He drove the mystery machine. That's what he did. He this got them to the mystery. Right. That was his. Yeah. Does, does it he count as liking first. gadgets if you can drive a car? <laughs> <laughs> Red mm -hmm. Jones. Yeah, he's people said people said he was just the jock. He was the leader. He was strong. He was athletic. Yeah. He liked. Okay. He was the only normal person. Oh, he, he builds overly complicated traps, apparently. Oh. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh. When the ghost comes around the corner, they'll hit the tripwire, and that'll trigger the net and stuff like that, yeah. All right. I have to rewatch that show. It's, why do we hate Fred? <laughs> it's like, you're just like Fred. No, it's like, oh, that's not so he's bad. A queer, sexual <laughs> mauler. And he doesn't really have a compelling character. He's just basically the hero. There are a lot of video game <laughs> okay. characters with a lot more depth than Luke Skywalker. There are a lot of video game characters with more depth? All right. Walker. I guess. And as for Leia, she kind of has this obsession with faux bad boys. And why, why, so is do that, I. why is that a bad thing? How is that? And she's a princess, but her planet is destroyed, so why does she keep using the title princess? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to turn in your badge. Your planet got blown up. <laughs> Can you imagine they, they call it like Princess Leia? What are we doing? And then some guy's like, "Excuse me, uh, her planet was destroyed. Can you please stop?" She's not a, prin uh, she's not a princess anymore. Don't refer to princess anymore. And she's like, "Wow, that happened recently. I, I, I mean, could you maybe could we not talk about?" It? And he's like, "Yes, but you know, officially, just, you know, <laughs> words have to mean something, Leia." <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to confiscate your buns. Sorry. I don't even. Is that how that works? By the way, if you if your like entire family were killed when you were the currently the princess and they took you away from the throne or whatever, would you therefore not be a if princess? You're... The character who oh, <laughs> morally ambiguous but not edgy. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> the boss scene goes nowhere. No special. They literally skill. leave. They no literally go skills. to the spaceport. <laughs> He's like the, one of the best pilots ever. What the fuck? Did he did did he expect the bar to go with them? <laughs> <laughs> the <park goes> <laughs> You're like, all right, pack it up. We're going to the Millennium Falcon, everybody. Millennium Falcon. That's just a that's just a bullet yes. point. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, Millennium Falcon, <laughs> and yes, Chewbacca. Yeah. All right, let's let's hear these out. A lot of people Both. like to associate with, but nobody can really justify is Han Solo. The problem with him, as I see it, is that while he is morally ambiguous, that's not enough to make him edgy. He's not really that cool. <laughs> okay, the fucking fuck? the master of cool over here is gonna tell us that. Look, <laughs> like, Leia is isn't hot. Luke isn't cool. Han Solo's fucking shit. I'm way better than Han Solo. That should have been me. This was the <laughs> review we needed. He does things that should be cool, it just isn't. Partly. <laughs> what the fuck am I listening to? Like what? Like what thing does he do that's supposed to be cool but isn't? It's not even work. Because he's got a half mullet going on. <laughs> He's no, he what? No, he doesn't. <laughs> and he has a half mullet going on. How does someone who sounds like you not properly identify a mullet? <laughs> <laughs> He's not cool. 
cool. He has an off mullet. Now, now this guy is shaved completely bald, like like Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to add a, a his only best friend hot. <laughs> Yes, oh yeah. This is uh this is this has been a thing. People make these videos, like I just never get over that. And again, it should be it's like a like Western it should PowerPoint. Be... <laughs> Badass. The problem is that scene ends too early and it doesn't go anywhere. We never see any other hunters coming after Han Solo in the middle of battles with the Empire. We never see any of the hunters come after us. Like, what about the one that comes after him specifically? I think the movie needed some ninjas. Some human <laughs> <laughs> zombie ninjas to kick Han Solo in his half mullet ass. Some <laughs> robot ninjas. The quality of a film can be assessed directly by the ratio of space ninjas to minutes. But what makes a rat good? <laughs> Also, he has no real special skills. He can fly, he can shoot, but so can fucking um, everybody in this Star Wars. Uh, so can fly everybody. He, can fly, he has no skills. He can fly and shoot. Uh, oh, that sounds important in Star Wars. Uh, sorry, what did he say? I was just. He right. said he has no skills. Yeah, he can fly and shoot, but so can everyone. <laughs> Even Chewbacca, the walking carpet, can do that. Okay. Um, his affiliation is obvious. It would obvious. make sense That's... that a partner to somebody who's a smuggler would be able to shoot guns and fly spaceships. I like that he says it in such a, like, fucking racist way. The fucking walking carpet can do it. You're like, dude. And, and he's, his, he's the co-pilot. He's the co-pilot. <laughs> Why would the co-pilot be able to fly? That's dumb. Nah, I suppose it's just, yeah. Just press buttons. No one would... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Crazy, am I telling riddles? <laughs> in, irrelevant in two out of three movies. <laughs> He's dead! He's not he died. <laughs> what? Jedi who's battle shy, that's the point! Yeah, Jedi's are not fucking warriors. They're well, guardians, they're protectors. Yeah. They only use violence if they need to. Yeah. Battle shy. <laughs> Trains by telling riddles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be great. I would say that Obi-Wan Kenobi is the worst character in Star Wars. Oh. Obviously that has to be C-3PO, the gay robot butler. <laughs> <laughs> why don't- why don't- save his time. Just save his time and let us know what characters aren't gay. Uh, <laughs> he has to specify their sexuality. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know, man. When I just see those thick golden legs, I just I get a half chub, man. That's why they call him Golden Legs, because he's a fucking robot whore. It's like when you're watching the films with him, whenever C-3PO is on the screen, he's like sweating, and you're like, what's up, dude? And he's like, oh, nothing, nothing. That's C-3PO. <laughs> he's like, hello. And he goes, oh. <laughs> Be back, demon. You know, C-3PO's British accent is kind of sexy. No homo. Satan, <laughs> Satan's trying to tempt me. <laughs> Be gone, Satan robot. Gay robot. I will not fall prey to, you, to your temptation. By being a smart-ass British guy. And because he dies in the first movie... I'm Mauler, I think he just called you out. Oh, man. Some smart ass British guy. What was, what was this guy's name again? A retarded Republican or something? Old man remember. bad. <laughs> His role in the second and third movie is totally useless. So he's <laughs> he's dead for fuck's sake. <laughs> he even said it like, and because he dies in the first movie, he's totally irrelevant in the other ones. Worthless. Even though they bring him back up, it's like uh, <laughs> because he's okay. dead, he's not alive in the other movie. <laughs> Completely irrelevant Jeez, to like, keep okay. bringing his ass up over and over and over, despite the fact he's not actually technically in the movie. What the fuck? You can still he's, talk about somebody who's people dead. Who aren't in the movie. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh man. When people oh. are dead, you no longer talk about them. God damn it! <laughs> this fag shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like George Washington is like no, he dead. Dead for like two hundred years. <laughs> but you shut that shit up. Work a character and waste of time. In the entire history of science fiction, why does he have Vic Van Vader there? <laughs> I mean, 
I'm I'm all for every part of wrestling, but why is Big Van Vader there? <laughs> what am I looking Whoa, at? Rip a, off of Rip off of Robocop? <laughs> and Frankenstein. Well, Robo Robocop came out in 1987. <laughs> How is Darth Vader a rip off of something? <laughs> <laughs> That came out like eight years after. <laughs> is that true? Oh my god, it's oh. true. Oh Robo my shit. Cop, yeah, that was like an 87. He's a ripoff of something that came later. <laughs> <after him. laughs> the incredible oh. foresight of Darth Vader <laughs> to rip off something that would eventually be made. Time travel. Racially ambiguous. Oh no, Darth Vader can time travel. <laughs> oh no. Um, Racially ambiguous? What does he mean, no mechanical enhancements? It's not like his whole thing. Like Luke he's fucking- He's a half robot, half machine. He Didn't uh, Obi-Wan say he's more machine than man now? Yeah, Luke, Luke hits him with his lightsaber on his shoulder and it doesn't go through because the implication is he has armor, as far as I do. That's the whole point of his fucking suit. I'd call that an enhancement. Um, yeah, well, you're a retard. Oh, you got me. Um, rip off of Frankenstein. That's an interesting one. If you ever replace a body part with anything, be it mechanical or natural. Frankenstein's or... Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein was the. Yeah, but people typically refer to the monster as Frankenstein too, right? Yeah, well, they're fucking it. wrong, aren't they? Got to accept it. It's no, life moves on. I literally. Besides, don't Frankenstein's have... monster is dead. You can't talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So is Vader. So I'm kind of fucked on that. Oh man. We, were talking we did not plan this well, did we? <laughs> um, ra racially ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know he's white, just tell me he's white. <laughs> you're like watching the scene where he says, I am your father, you're like, oh man, that shit was heavy. And he's like, but is he uh, black? <laughs> like, he's, he's clearly got a nigger voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're Some just gonna let a black nigger. man play a white man's voice? <laughs> Luke's got a robotic arm. Is he Frankenstein ripoff too? Yes, yes, that's how it works. <laughs> I don't make the rules. Um, and then forbid formidable or tragic choose. What, what, how are those two antithetical what? exactly? <sighs> okay, let's hear his ex explanation. That's always the best part. Absolutely no villain is more overrated than Darth Vader. First of all, he's basically a I disagree. He's like rated as one of the best things ever, and he is. Off of Robocop, if you think about his actual design. The difference being, of course, he uses a lightsaber rather than a gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Just, yeah, but just a small is, difference in like, dimension. One is silver, one is black, one has a cape, one doesn't, one's a cop, one's not. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like when you compare their weapons, they're kind of similar. One's a gun, the other is a lightsaber. <laughs> I don't know. There's some differences, I guess. I thought everyone knew how to shoot a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. fly. Also fly. Oh, and Darth Vader flies his Tie Fighter. Yeah. Oh. I mean, mm -hmm. if you think uh, about it, yeah. a gun really just shoots small swords. Oh. Yeah, it's just, it's just long distance stabbing. <laughs> exactly. He's also a ripoff of Frankenstein. The idea being <laughs> that he is, you know. Sort of a shell of his former self, and just a conglomerate. Since when was it a Frankenstein part of... didn't Frankenstein didn't have a former self? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Frankenstein story where he's like, "I used to be John Michael Jones." <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't, I'm not aware of one. I mean, fuck. Oh, he must mean a rip off of I Frankenstein, the one with the was it was his name Chad Frankenstein? <laughs> they, they ripped, Chad Frankenstein. They, they ripped off the one that came out like forty years later. <laughs> like, all right, fair enough. Generation of parts and machines, but in that futuristic era, yeah, and since when was there anything like? Did did Frankenstein have a lot of mechanical body parts outside of the bolts? I don't remember that shit. <laughs> where you can travel at light speed or beyond, why does he not have any mechanical enhancements? Why is he so slow and ponderous? Why isn't he quick? Why doesn't he have... <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> ...packs on him. I don't understand. It makes no sense. Also, why doesn't he have uh, electrically enhanced senses or something? <laughs> how, do you, how do you know that he doesn't? I'm so confused. Electrically enhanced senses. Also not really clear what race he is. When we see his face, he's like oh, a no. middle-aged white man. 
but he sounds like a professional black basketball player. He sounds like the nerve. <laughs> sounds like can a you can you believe that Darth Vader sounds like a black guy? <laughs> I'm so good. What is he trying? What what point is he making? Has he I'm not confused. has he not ever met a white guy who has like a super deep voice? <laughs> it's possible Those they're out all... there. Oh god, clearly anti-Christian. Oh. <laughs> the, the the force help equals team. help for and team. By team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's, we're bringing up Jesus. It's popular in Britain and New Zealand. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Prayer. Like, listen, we fought a revolution to get away from them, Britain. <laughs> Light side is dark side is racist. <laughs> Got a lot of nerves trying to call out racism, please. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you just said it having a black voice, like the worst thing ever. <laughs> I can't believe he made this video. Look, Why? I know he's black. Just tell me he's black. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a goddamn basketball player. <laughs> it's like, it's... I don't want no Barry White in my, in my space movie. What the fuck? Where you get advice and information from demons. But... <laughs> <laughs> says that so casually. <laughs> All right, then. I mean, those demons are—you can't knock them. Some of the stuff they're, like, they're pretty good. <laughs> I just realized Vader is throwing the hot, the loud soup again. <laughs> <laughs> this soup is terrible. <laughs> Hell you, <laughs> Kobe. Damn this demon soup. <laughs> But came this is, is actually because away from the demon soup. <laughs> Imagine People. him trying to throw it on Kylo's head. <laughs> He's such an unbelievable dipshit. <laughs> I want that to happen in episode 9. Vader finally visits Kylo and he's like, You are so fucking stupid. Like, I've been watching all of this. <laughs> Kylo's like, What the hell, man? Not it's only like is it clearly anti Christian and the Force must be where you get advice and information from demons. But it's this cool. is actually a religion that people believe. It's obvious. Now, while the use of a British actor for Obi Wan is supposed to make us think British people are smart and wise because they have the accent, <laughs> yeah, but, but I know the truth. I know they're a bunch of fucking dumbasses. <laughs> yeah. Trying to make me they're think all... the British are smart. Fuck you. Bunch of tree tea drinking losers. They're also all gay and black. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. And vaguely Muslim. They can't go to space. Fuck that. <laughs> Oh man! Because these are the same fucking idiots who think that um, the Jedi religion is a real thing, but it's not. It's no a one th believes that. Well, no, but nobody who believes that. <clears throat> um, by the way, it works. You are so full of shit. <laughs> like when this came out, of course not. But now it's. I'm pretty sure it's registered as like an official religion. Jedi. Enough people say that they follow the Jedi quote unquote religion that it's been officialized. Yeah, the rules though for being an official religion. Yeah, are no, that's insanely, that's true. Uh, and that's the, the but that's the thing. Like he's, it's like I don't know. It's it's the same as all other religions. You, the they had the same access. I don't know. <laughs> it's almost like all religions are bullshit. Or something. I mean, if, he, if he's gonna be like yours, <laughs> yours doesn't make sense. Came from a fucking movie. It's like I mean, okay, well, <laughs> they don't believe in the Jewish Jewish zombie Jesus. That religion, zombie is dumb. Jesus. <laughs> it's a fictional thing. It's not like Christianity. There's no actual. <laughs> oh <at all>. no! <laughs> <laughs> a bold statement. <laughs> it's not fictional. <laughs> like Christianity. <laughs> oh no! This is in a historical book, which was inspired by God. There's nothing. A here historical to book. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> hey man, episode was four historical. was a historical film. Yeah. It seems to be based on prayer or something. I don't really get what the general. Oh, can you imagine? Is. Oh wait, is that a bad thing? Persecuting <laughs> a religion like, based confused. on not understanding it. How disgusting! <laughs> I just love the idea that it's like your shit is fictional. You're like, okay, <laughs> all right. And the whole dark side, light side thing is obviously racist. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously racist. <laughs> Please enlighten me. <laughs> it needs to be more subtly racist. I like the like he me. never he never really explains the bullet points. They're basically all he says. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you've got the full picture already. It clearly you look at the Jedi, they're almost all white males until you get to the prequels where, you know, the George nerf. Lucas figured out that it was racist and he needed to do something about it. <laughs> um, but in the this original motherfucker, please. <laughs> this this guy it was racist. This guy's views on race confuse me so much. <laughs> yeah. 
Marvels, they're all white men who are Jedis, and all the people who are Sith Lords are robots or what? that deformed thing the Emperor is. The <laughs> deformed thing? <laughs> He's still a white guy. Like, what the fuck? I like that right. he only had two to draw from from the uh, the OT, and he's like, they're either robots or deformed things. Because, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> or you know, people who are of some other race or something, or you know, so you get it, right? Yeah. I mean, it's clearly the light side is for white people, and the dark side is for non-whites. It's for <laughs> Oh my god, it's the same thing. Yeah, it just makes it dark. The Emperor Maul. and Darth Vader were white. What the fuck? This is the same fucking argument they used for like the Lion King back in 94. Because the, the movie was racist because there were like people of color played hyenas and they were dark, and that the lions were light and they were living a better life than the hyenas, so they were clearly <laughs> the white people of the have, movie. That's how fucking stupid it sounds. Have you heard the one about how the, the Urukai and Orcs are clearly black people in Lord of the Rings? That's what it's supposed to represent. <laughs> like, what? Oh god. Count Dooku was white, that is true. What's well, the thing? I don't know what he's basing this on. Vader was a white guy when they took the stuff off him, and the Emperor was clearly white, but he calls him deformed and then concludes he's a non-white because he's deformed. <laughs> I don't know the... That, that seems like a well, weird system. Well, you know, he got a couple, you know, liberal subscribers now, so he's got to you know, show a different perspective. <laughs> but the fact is that all of the cool equipment is not with the Rebels. They have three major fighters. You have the why, why aren't these cool? I think they're cool. Yeah, I like them. They're nice. The X-Wing, which is basically like a gay F-18 <laughs> Hornet. And the why is it gay? He calls everything gay! Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, listen, <laughs> notice notice that the the X-Wing is in the shape. What else is in the shape of an X? The X chromosome. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Check if I can, parts. If I can imagine it, if I can imagine shoving it up my ass, it's gay. <laughs> I mean, you never see X-Wings and Y-Wings together, like XY chromosomes for a female. Okay. And A-Wings are trans. And you prequels <laughs> and is... Neil uh, deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> I'm a very tolerant man. He start he starts off by saying I'm a very tolerant man. But. Okay, but <laughs> there's just, there's just too much becomes... niggardry in this <laughs> niggardry. <laughs> <laughs> too much niggardry and wizardry. Too many drees. What's this gas giant food trade center bullshit? <laughs> Again, confusing and not very well thought out. I'm a very tolerant man when it comes to watching Citation movies needed. and seeing things that I'm not too thrilled about. I, I allow robots to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> if a robot good. wants to be gay, it can be gay. That's fine. That's well, fine. I still need to know the, which race Darth Vader is, though. It's important to me. <laughs> it's important. I need it. Part that I don't care what race my... he is, I just need to know that he is that race. My hair out was Cloud City. First of all, the character of Lando is basically an even more foppish Neil deGrasse Tyson. Foppish? A foppish. Oh, is that I don't, know if, I don't know if Neil deGrasse Tyson was really at his pinnacle of awareness back when Star Wars Episode Five came out. My goodness, I've never heard that word before. So foppish means of a man concerned with his clothes and appearance in, a, in an affected and excessive way. Yeah, I was about to say. I looked it up myself. <laughs> oh, he's super foppish now. He's a foppish motherfucker. <laughs> he's literally he's literally jealous of yeah, Lando for taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> like basic fucking hygiene and shit. Foppish to the point of being ninety nine percent the funky phantom. Okay. The funky now phantom. Cloud City itself makes almost no sense. Alright. So it's in the clouds. Does that make it a gas giant? I'm pretty not sure what? Cloud Wait, City what? is not supposed to be the fucking planet, you asshole. I mean, it's just why, why the, did he say the station. If it's in the clouds, that is it a gas jet. We have clouds. <laughs> we have clouds. <laughs> <laughs> where are these where are these so called clouds? If they're real, show them to me. How do you get food in a place like this? Where's the ground? Where's you probably the have. Soil? Well, they have these things called spaceships, you fucking retard. Uh, well, no, no rags. You see, if it was a planet of clouds only, how would you get food? There's no way. Well, obviously, clouds. you would drink the clouds. <laughs> uh, Jay said you just give it the suck. 
So I guess you'd have a big <laughs> vacuum cleaner <laughs> like collect all of the gas. And again, where the hell is the surface, and why don't they just live on the surface rather than living like it's the down. idiot, like a bunch of assholes? Because they can't. Not every <laughs> planet. Not every planet is Earth. <laughs> why do they live up there if they can live on the ground? Fucking idiots. <laughs> Ships are obviously toys. <laughs> laser guns See, look unrealistic. <laughs> the laser guns look unrealistic. They're not like real laser guns. <laughs> <laughs> he just got C-3PO, I guess. <laughs> laser guns look unrealistic. Unlike the Bible. <laughs> the sound effect. Unlike the Bible. The pinnacle yeah. of realism and believability. <laughs> the sound effects could have been done on a NES. <laughs> oh no. I think we need to point out that he used a picture of twerking Stormtroop. <laughs> he says they have no life while showing that picture. It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> that is really shitty looking armor. It obviously has no effect. Ain't no good. Compared to the clones who get annihilated by everything, too. Prequels. Yeah. Yeah, the but the prequels are, are better. Mm -hmm. Obviously toys. You look at the TIE Fighter pictured in this slide. It's clearly... Not something they didn't, yeah, they that... didn't use real TIE Fighters. What the fuck? I'm sorry, but yeah. that design looks awesome as fuck. It's yeah. like, if you're I like, oh yeah, really but cool. it's, it's gonna be a toy. I'd be like, yeah, and I want it. <laughs> Give me. Well, I'll be exist in real life. It's clearly made out of plastic, and it's something that a child could play with and throw across their room. <laughs> what? God, you can do that with anything. Can you imagine that children want to play with spaceships from their cool, oh. from cool movies? That sounds gay, oh, dude. Sounds <laughs> Kids are gay. Kids are fucking are gay, fucking don't want I fucking hate kids. C-3PO, if he's the most advanced artificial intelligence they have, then they truly have made no advancements in AI. <laughs> yeah, I could've done way fucking better. <laughs> he's literally, like, sentient, so they're like, fucking, could do better. Gay robot butler is sentient as shit. You need to be working on other <laughs> shit. It's like, what? We don't even have reference for where he came from when it was just the OT. He was just, he was a robot. Like the layer owned, I guess. Protocol droid supposed to be able to translate. I don't know. He does everything really well, considering the use we're, we're told that he has. I don't know, what else is there? Yeah, yeah, but he's got a faggy accent. Why does he <laughs> sound more like me? Yeah. Why'd they make him so attractive? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're trying to confuse me. That's fucking pathetic. C-3PO is the most annoying character in the Star Wars universe. He is ten times worse than George R.B. Oh, not give a Ten times? Okay. He could quantify that shit, Jeez. nice. Oh boy. The fuck what anybody says, he really is. He's that much worse. By and large, the sound effects on this thing could have been done easily on an NES. Oh shit! Is that was that. <laughs> Je Jenna just reminded me, I'm pretty sure in Futurama, the professor makes like a C-3PO style thing and it falls in love with him and tries to have like sex with him and the professor has to kill it. So, yeah, this guy's fears are on point. I'll be making him too gay. Nintendo Entertainment make robots in the too gay. 1980s There's nothing that this movie does that the NES couldn't have done and done better. Period. Um, I don't know. Uh, have you played on an NES? I don't think that the NES had the Star Wars capacity. looks a little better. Yeah, I don't think the NES had the capacity to play the sounds at the bit rate that were played in the film. Like, I don't actually think it was technically possible. Aggressor in the conflict. I mean, if you're being oppressed to the degree that the rebels were, and if you don't comply, you're considered the aggressor. That's that's interesting. Anti-commerce, politically correct, criminal organization. Um, no, cause. no cause. Uh, interesting. Okay, <laughs> let's hear it out. It's an epic. It's supposed to be good versus evil, and it totally fails at that because, in fact, the good guys, the rebels, are evil. 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 <laughs> Um, okay, just to just to point out, uh, the Empire blew up a planet? Yeah, casually. The guy who's supposed to be the rebel admiral or whatever you call it, he is named after an Indian conqueror from the Middle Ages who killed millions of his own people to take over India. So, you're not exactly a good guy. But you can't... <laughs> you have the same <laughs> name as someone else who did a thing, therefore you're bad. What the hell? If there was a bad Republican out there, then that means that your channel is evil. Yeah. Done and dusted. The rebels, when they move into places, force neutrals to fight. Or they force loyal subjects to take up Akbar, arms. Akbar, did you destroyed. know that Akbar chose his own name when he was born? <laughs> no, he based it after he the was Indian like, conqueror. Is there an Indian dude who like slaughtered <laughs> a bunch of people? Because if there is, I want to be named after him.
I <laughs> Call it, it just so happens we have the we have the guy. <laughs> he meets Akbar in real life. Jay said, "You have an evil name." <laughs> okay, kill Sorry. him. They're clearly the aggressor in the conflict. They are not the victims who? here. They are the ones. Wait, who? Wait, what? The rebels are not the victims, even though they're being chased to deletion. No, the the force neutrals to fight. Oh, um. Uh, yes. I don't know how you justify that. Who's neutral and gets forced to fight? If Maybe. anything, the Does Empire you mean, like, do they that. They gave their soldiers orders. Maybe they mean uh, all those tiny fluff thingy called. Oh, Ewoks. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, that's true. To a degree, even though they were held captive. Yeah, but they didn't force them, and they were... Like, the, the Empire what? was using their moon. Han Solo joins their cause, he's one of their premier guys, and there's a reason. It's because the dude is a space pirate. That's what the Rebels are. They're a coalition space. of criminals fighting against law and order. Of course they're criminals! Oh my... <laughs> I mean, the French resistance in World War II were criminals. All of America are criminals under British law. <laughs> you pieces <laughs> of shit. The, the American revolutionaries were criminals. That's so dumb. They broke like, the law. He sounds like he's fucking Grandma Tarkin giving a speech about the movie. Like, <laughs> These criminals. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Why won't they just be oppressed in peace? <laughs> they were the aggressors in the conflict. They're politically correct, you see the different races they join together, and that seems to be their only real agenda. So oh no, racial harmony! What the what hell? A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah like, remember when he was talking about, like, how... <laughs> how this Light vs. the Dark was racist, and now all of a sudden he's going back to this shit! <laughs> right back His into views on race territory. are just... so odd. Mm. <laughs> so... He said they have no real clear goal outside of bringing people together. It's like, okay, that and freedom? I think that those are two pretty cool <laughs> goals. <laughs> they don't want the Batman to blow up planets anymore? <laughs> like they have that on a piece of paper. They're like, please stop blowing up planets. And this guy's like, hmm, you guys are mm. criminals. <laughs> Goddamn anti-commerce fuckers. <laughs> what is it the Empire does specifically that's angering them? Is it they the fact blew they up a planet! <laughs> They hunt them down throughout the three movies. <laughs> they killed billions and billions of innocent people. In the blink of an eye, they wiped them all out. <laughs> what, they blew what did the up Empire do? Planet. The Empire did fucking nothing. Leave them alone, Jesus. What a magic man what running the Empire. What is evil to you? <laughs> what do you have to do to be evil if blowing up a, fucking, a planet doesn't do it? You gotta be a gay butler to be evil. <laughs> That's what draws the line. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> that's angering them. Is it the fact that they have some sort of magic man running the empire? I doubt it. Is it because they're stormtroopers? I don't know. Is that something to do with taxes? Well, we're not told that. We don't know if the <laughs> it's something to do with taxes. <laughs> Can I just love that we were showed them obliterate billions of people. He's like, well, what was that? Something to do with taxes? I don't know. <laughs> some kind of tax issue. Never told us. God. Empires tax them tyrannically, but it would be kind of hard to tax a bunch of independent planets out in space. So, uh, well, if you're independent, then it it you've defined yourself into a situation that. Uh, <laughs> so much wrong with everything here. <laughs> no context. I'm just gonna say, why was there a conflict? Were there some taxes? I don't know. <laughs> they never tell us. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. You just gotta think about it. What is it the rebels fight for, and how is you should think about guys? everything you, you said in this please. fucking video. He unironically doesn't thinking. know what the rebels fight for. I mean, I feel like I watched a different real. movie. Yeah, man. How are they not the bad guys? Well, a couple of people said this is this is obviously a troll, but apparently this is, this guy does believe this shit, and he's apparently debated people about this, but he usually devolves to calling them stupid. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Um, I like him. I, I love these videos. This is amazing. I hope I, lo I love New Jared. Like Ty Tywood Lannister oh. being gay. Like, I could it could it be as good as this? <laughs> and I know this is gonna draw some fucking nerds out of the woodwork to fight. Me. You made a video about why certain Star Wars movies are better than others.
Don't be calling other people fucking nerds. <laughs> he, one of his points was Luke is too much of a middle-aged lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Why did people not like Maybe. my video? <laughs> You're a nerd if you don't like my video. <laughs> That's okay. I'm mm. more than equipped to take on all you dumbasses. Gay Confederate generals <laughs> and Zodiac. Why? Robert Grimm. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? Gay Confederate, Confederate generals? <laughs> what? Why is that a thing? Why is that the- It's just literally for me, it's a black abyss with this picture and it says Gay no, no, Confederate I have, General. I have that one as well, but I have a second one. Oh, I don't have to. But That's so oh, fucking hell, this has been a Oh my god, can, can you see Aquaman, a conservative masterpiece? No. <laughs> He's got another video about Aquaman and how it's a, a, a conservative, conservative man. masterpiece. Greetings. This man... Like, he has 252 <laughs> subscribers, that is not enough. He needs to know. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> enough. <laughs> just says Tywin Lannister colon homosexual. <laughs> what are the comments <laughs> for this? What the fuck? Oh, I have to watch that one, please. The only comment there is, did you smoke, lol? <laughs> 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 so, uh... Do we, do, is anyone interested in at least checking that out for like a minute just to see what it is? Yes, please. Sure, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> he also Reading has a video YouTube that's called Bernie Hol Sanders, homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> look, at the, look, look at the way Hang he on. sits there. There's, there's, there's more. Napoleon is Islamic extremist. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? The ultimate homosexual. <laughs> the, ultimate. the ultimate homosexual. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me get my fucking notes out. <laughs> like a total super fag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you'll take your notes just like a gay person with well, their notes. That's phallic. I'd like to know what the tiers of homosexual are. <laughs> Is the entry Homo level tears. protege homosexual? <laughs> as, as you progress, you get to have like but then, the but the lesbian hair. Like another one is more like C3PO lesbian. <laughs> That's like a high rank, that one. Yeah. Dr. Now, there are many openly homosexual characters in the story. However, Nerd. Tywin is special. Now, George R.R. <laughs> R. Martin himself is, the is a homosexual. Homo. <laughs> and Tywin Lannister is sort of the character that he modeled on himself, or at least what he thinks he would be if he lived in a fictional universe. Is that so? I didn't know now, that. Now, where does the evidence come from? I bet no one did. <laughs> well, the first hint we get is that we meet Tywin, and he has been widowed for many years. What happens yet... with gay people? You meet them. It just makes sense. He said he's been widowed for many years. Very typical of the gay to have an ex... <laughs> ex-living <laughs> wife. He has never taken a lover. He has no mistress. So far as we know, he never visits prostitutes. Everyone knows the straights aren't... F <laughs> they have no fidelity, those straights. <laughs> And most oddly of all, he doesn't have any bastard children dating back to the <laughs> What? <laughs> no bastard children prove he He had gay. no children out of wedlock, which means he must be gay. <laughs> okay. if, you don't, if you don't have five or six baby mamas, you just a big old queer. <laughs> you gotta use your dick, baby. You have any bastards? Like, no. Like, you gay? <laughs> <laughs> of his youth. This is all highly unusual in the Game of Thrones universe. Where it's not though. A lot of the uh, the leading people don't have bastards. If Ned Stark doesn't have a bastard. That's that's what we find out. Um, Stannis doesn't have one. Uh, Renly doesn't have any bastards. They're all gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nearly everyone has mistresses. Also, uh, for anybody wondering, I'm going from show continuity because he's. I think he's going from show continuity. He ain't got no mistress. Now, he has a mistress. Also, wait, yeah. What about fucking season four? <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Literally, season four finale. Tywin's got a whore in his bed. So, uh, doesn't count. A man whore. And this shot is from season four. So, yeah, below D D cup titties. <laughs> Clearly, that was a dude. They look pretty baddish. <laughs> <laughs> forward a bit and now we're in spoiler You're looking a country. little queer. Uh if you look, if you really pay attention his top complaint against Tyrion isn't even his dwarfism but rather the fact that he's a constant whoremonger. 
And can you imagine it, someone being upset with that? Because he wants can you imagine Tyrion, a world. He wants Tyrion to marry into a high-powered family to increase his fucking power in the country. Want to have sex with a lot of women. Like a real now, street. all three of Tywin's children are also sexual de deviants. De Jamie and Cersei, you know, they have some incestuous relations, and they have fought. So, because his kids are incestuous, that means he must be gay. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> this is some weird logic. But okay. Imagine being, yeah, he's so gay, he's going out of his way to have sex with his sister. That's how gay he is. <laughs> if anything, that is desperately straight. Slept with your sister? <laughs> so fucking gay, dude. <laughs> it's like, dude, sleep with your brother like a straight person. <laughs> and the thing is, sexual deviance runs in families, and they had to get it from somewhere. Is he implying you're a sexual deviant if you're gay? It's genetic. Like, wow. <laughs> the writing's on the wall with this one. And since there is no mother character for them since she's been dead for so long we have to assume that they were can you, they probably even talk about her even though she's not even in the episode <laughs> he also never marries any of his nieces or does any of that kind of thing even though apparently that would be something that would not be unusual in this universe not unusual further um in a world where mm -hmm. old men you know, you put themselves over on young girls. You look what at a bunch what of uh, Bridges. I can't think of his name, but what he does, he ob there obviously is no stigma about marrying teenage girls if you're an old man. Not doing that does not then mean you are gay. Advance himself on either Arya Stark or Whoa. Sansa Stark. Ooh. All right. Um, we also know from Rob Stark and from the context of the show that Tywin is well, not a Rob's skilled general. Stark. Not a skilled general. That's just not true. He, he, Even he, I know that's not true. <laughs> like, I was going to say, how do you say that considering the whole show? So, for context, what he's probably referencing is that um, uh, Rob Stark captures one of Tywin's scouts. He tells the scout in what seems to be like a, a rush of rage, like, I'm coming for him. I'm going to rip him apart. You can go tell him that, and the scout's like, oh, okay. And the scout tells Tywin, and Tywin's like, he really thinks he can beat me, alright? Like, I'll, I'll face him one-to-one. -one. Uh, Rob sends 2,000 men to Tywin, and he sends his, like, 18,000 main forces over to Jaime's army as a surprise attack, and obliterates them, and takes Jaime captured, and, and Tywin was outsmarted in that moment. And everyone was really impressed, because Rob did a really good move. That does not make Tywin a shitty general. <laughs> this is like, how the fuck was he supposed to know? If your record know? isn't 100%, you suck. That's how it works. I mean, I'm not saying that Tywin ended up killing Rob, but that might have been a thing that happened, so it would be interesting to refer to Rob as the superior combatant in that scenario, wouldn't it? And in general, not to stereotype too much, we know that homosexuals tend not to be very good at conducting military affairs. At conducting what? Military affairs. I Almost is that. Um, I literally have no. I is that a? Th I've never heard that before. That gays don't make good generals. Apparently, that's we a, don't want that's them caring for that, their men. I don't think I've ever heard that before. I've never heard that before. I'm trying. Yeah, man. The gays make for bad. How does he get excited? Tywin's like the best fucking mastermind in the whole show. How does he even reconcile that? Tywin looks for is not winning on the battlefield. He looks to ruses, which would be very womanly. He likes to... <laughs> <What>? uh, <laughs> okay. Goddamn womanly ruses. <laughs> Damn women <laughs> with pesky ass anything, ruses. Uh... And win by personal relationships and by betrayal. Yeah, real men kill he... through bloodshed. So, and pain and conquest. Tywin twice that we know of in the show brute forced his army through the gates of King's Landing and took it. So I don't, I don't agree <laughs> with the idea that he's only ever done ruses. Not by the manly, virtuous model of let's fight in the field and see who the better man is. We also that's not that how you determine who the. I mean, <laughs> I guess his idea of virility is strictly based on bloodshed and conquest. I just, dude. So like, an army of ten thousand show up to this guy's house, and he's like, "I will fight your best man." And then they're like, "No, we're just going to assault the house." And he's like, "What are you gay?" Like, you <laughs> like, yeah, sure, you're dead. What a womanly strategy. 
<laughs> Dude had one successful fist fight in an Olive Garden parking lot, and now, like, oh, <laughs> now anybody who doesn't do it how I do it is like this womanly ruses. That's all it fucking is. Money hungry, power hungry, and he doesn't really care about glory. And the reason a, why a lot of people care so much about glory is that glory is the thing that gets you women. <laughs> what the um, hell? Oh, no, God. none of the women that I have fucked know I have a YouTube channel, which is the closest thing, I guess, to glory I have in a modern sense. But how does this guy think that, like, human interaction works? Like, this is an alien. He read The Count of Monte Cristo, and he thinks that's how human civilization works. <laughs> I mean, gay people, glory. When have you ever seen those two things together? I don't think so. I don't know. And if you're not interested in women, as Tywin obviously is not, then it wouldn't matter. Literally had a whore at his bed, but okay. Literally yeah, well, had just, three... That was just to keep up appearances. Three children, but he's the gay. We also see that he's very jealous and petty about getting the defend the credit for defending King's Landing, even though we know for a fact that Tyrion is the primary author of the victory. No. Tyrion delayed the inevitable defeat. Tywin saved the city. That was bullshit. Without one or the other, they would have lost. The idea that... What do you mean the author of the victory? That's an interesting choice of words. So gays are jealous and petty by nature. <laughs> They're jealous, <laughs> petty, immoral, uh, deviant. They <laughs> don't want glory, I guess. Oh, jeez. And this is a very womanly thing, like the way mothers are okay. jealous of their daughters <laughs> the when you know, they're aging. What a strange individual. I would love to just shrink myself down and explore his brain for a while. <laughs> it's just a series of insane ideas. We're just like, hmm. It's like through the looking glass with this guy. And their daughters in their prime and much hotter. So this is sort of a thing that a woman would do. And it shows that Tywin is woman-minded and most likely a homosexual. <laughs> woman-minded. I have no, I don't know what to say. Because jealousy <laughs> is a strictly female trait. He's just like I attributing guess. all these bad traits to either women's or the gays. Like I would love to know <laughs> if he thinks that straight people or men possess any negative traits generally. Or if they're stereotyped as I being think the second they begin to turn negative in any way, they they're getting gayer. It's like <laughs> they, I, the further you stray from perfection, the more gay you are. <laughs> Oh man, I'm jealous of my friend's new pickup. I'm going to be sucking, sucking dick buttons. <laughs> your, your truck's making me gay, Glenn. <laughs> Stop it. Now, another thing that shows uh, Tywin's homosexuality is that mm -hmm. when he's doing his grand marriage scheme in season three, he doesn't include himself, even though everyone else mm. is a part of it. Well, he can't make... I, I, I mean, I'm not going to say he's that he's... He's not busy doing anything else, Molly. He's not... I'm not saying he's sterile, but it, the whole reason he wants his kids to marry is to make kids straight away. Now, I don't know if him marrying versus his kids marrying other kids to have long life... He literally says he's only... He, he won't even last this war. He's, he's concerned that he's absolutely going to be dying relatively soon. Like, uh, I guess he should have married... I don't even know, like, he can't... I just, it's just shocking to me. Yeah, you know what, Tywin, you should have married Olena. I actually would have been okay with that. Those two would make a great couple. Yeah, well, you, oh, look at you matchmaking, you fucking queer. <laughs> I matchmade a straight white cis couple, okay? That is not the gay. This even includes letting Littlefinger marry Lady Stark's sister, rather than doing it himself. Lady Stark? Oh, he's talking about Lysa, okay. Why would he marry Lysa? Uh. Which would have made him both the Lord of the House of Lannister and the Lord of the Vale. I don't think you can just fucking force her to marry him. That's not how that works. She gets to choose. She only wants to marry Littlefinger because she's had a crush on him since they were kids. Fool. Uniting two of the Seven Kingdoms, and then creating a grand inheritance for either 
Joffrey or his other grandson. <laughs> Genocide. This YouTube channel is just him trying to dodge his repressed sexuality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe if I talk or about how bad the homos are, I won't become one. <laughs> Genius. But the reason he doesn't take this deal is obviously. I mean, it worked for no one else one. ever. It'll work for me. <laughs> um. And, uh. Really, what we see is that the man clearly goes well out of his way to avoid any kind of sexual intercourse with women. Except when he made three children and had a whore in his bed in season four. Except those t except those times. Except the, yeah, except the fact that you're constantly referring to how he talks to his children. <laughs> that was just a formality of being gay. That was just to keep up Even appearances, when I guess. <laughs> If you recall in season three, what actually happened is that Joffrey told Marjorie that he was thinking about making homosexuality a crime punishable by death. <laughs> okay, that's true. So, uh, I'm sure so, that the ideal world of this guy. Oh my god! Just like the Bible, well, stone the gays. Who is homosexual? Who could? And who also was in danger of being put to death? Well, Tywin Lannister. It all fits. <laughs> it all fits. <laughs> Just like He's in his front of cock in the man's ass. Goddamn, it all fits. <laughs> Gay butlers, <laughs> ultimate homosexual deviants. It all fits. Oh, that's amazing. This is an amazing channel. I can't believe it. I love this, this channel. It's all so something much. which is part of a larger narrative that George R. R. Martin is trying to sneak under people's noses. And that is the obvious truth that Tywin Lannister is, in fact, a homosexual. Okay. So he's been a remarkable Republican, bringing the truth with truth-flavored bias. Yeah, a remarkable out. is an accurate yes, yes. Also a truth-flavored bias. <laughs> what the fuck? That's that amazing something. stuff, man. Like, bias. I never thought that was what was going to happen, because uh, I was linked that video a long time ago, and I just I saw it and I was like, you know what? Let's let's check it out. You know, a, a, an innocent little little exploration. What do you what do you guys think? Good. <laughs> Why is Jar Jar the best character? <laughs> oh my goodness! I do enjoy certain art. Bilbo marks. <laughs> Super hot, not a gay robot. Fit as fuck. Fit as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> not a not a British accent. Not a British accent. Not, not, not black. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not a gay robot. <laughs> I do enjoy certain art. <laughs> What's wrong with this fucking certain mouth? Art. Have some food, go to the toilet, anything you want to do. Um, hmm. What's at the toilet? Food? What isn't at the toilet? <laughs> Yum! <laughs> What's at the toilet? Like brown table videos. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, which channel would you rather be stuck watching? Brown Tables or a uh, Republican um, guy? I, I think maybe Brown Table, because this is hilarious in small doses. Yeah. But if it was this all the time, it just wouldn't satisfy. You would get old quickly. Brown Table seems to sw sw uh, switch it up. Brown Table is definitely higher grade shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I would almost say that Brown Table is fertilizer, but this is just poo. <laughs> <laughs> That's well put. Um, I sodomized Ryan Johnson's dead mother. Wow. Yay! Wait, what? <laughs> That's interesting. He paid what to say you, that. What are you, kind of queer? Uh, naming a planet Rag's Ego in No Man's Sky at the moment. Yay, it must All be right. massive. Oh, that's another thing, the fucking villain motivation. I was just on the rooftop waiting for you and you never came to see me. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking nerd. Okay. 